Hey everybody, Zachary from Zachary's Adventures. I am in Evansville, Indiana, and today I am visiting the Musker Park Zoo. You can see I got my hat on, my own Zachary's Zoo Adventures hat, and I do love to wear this hat. All the places I go to, as I said before, my other videos, and it also protects my head from being burned from the sun, or my forehead, rather. So this is not a very huge zoo. It is only 50 acres wide, so they do not have any paper wraps, so I'm going to try and find a stationary map here, then we'll see which way we get ahead. Alright, this is the map of the whole zoo. And as you can see, it's not a huge zoo, but still good. You can see these little outlinings here are actually what they used to have when Pover was around. They used to have one-way paths, and that's what you can see those little lines are. However, the zoo does no longer require one-way paths, but I am going to head down the trail to the green section called Amazonia and then to North America. Even though the zoo no longer requires one-way paths, that's still the way I want to go in. All right, so we're going to head this way to Amazonia, Forest of Riches. We got a teal build toucan. Right down there. Or a little lock there by the food dish. We got a white faced sake monkey. Okay, so right now I do not see the white faced sake monkey, but this is right near the entrance, so if I have time I'll try to come back here later, if I remember anyway. And there we got squirrel monkey. And with the squirrel monkey, you got black howler monkey. Okay, so this is the black howler monkey. You see there's the female and the male is climbing up at the top there. Alright, so I'm trying to find the squirrel monkey, but I don't see him anywhere. So if I have time, I'll do what I can to come back here later. There's the Colombian Tetra. Oh, some pretty fish in here. We got Aquatic Cassilian. Aquatic Cassilian's right there. That looks like a snake. All the different types of creatures that are in all these habitats here. The emerald tree boa. Right there. And the green sleeping. And right now, I think in here supposed to be some giant cockroaches, but I don't see them anywhere. Habitat has another emerald tree boa right here on the branch sleeping. Okay, there's another habitat for giant cockroaches, and you can see them right there. Yeah, so I just have a the Brazilian rainbow boa. You can see his scales right there. In this case, you can't see him, he's right over here. So I got a long tongue bat and can make them fruit back. Okay, so even though there's a worker in here cleaning up the habitat, the bats are still in here flying all over the place. And I do apologize for reflection. Flying everywhere, all over the place. Here we got prehensile tail porcupine. Porcupine right here. Got a little box there. Here we got Baird's tip here. Very nice habitat for him. He's right here, taking a nap. The animal right there. You got screaming hairy armadillo. Screaming armadillo's right there. Getting a snack. Alright, 
Hi, this is another side viewing of the Beards to Beards habitat, and see him right there taking a nap. It's a cute animal. Got big tooth piranha and blue hook silver dollar. And here's the habitat that has the fish. There's also a caiman in here. I believe that is a dwarf caiman. See its tail in the water and it's at the bump of the water. There's all the fish in here. Different types of them. Here. There's some here, the big tooth piranha and the blue hook silver dollar. They're actually in a different tank and they're actually not in the same habitat as we saw or where we saw the dwarf caiman. They're actually in a different tank here. Very nice. We got jaguar. Well, this is the jaguar's nighttime habitat, but right now he is outside. Well, this is the jaguar's outdoor habitat, and I'm still looking for him. There's a jaguar. He is having a cat nap. That's really, really cute. Alright, so there are signs here pointing in different directions. We just did Amazonia, so now we're going to head towards the right. Or we'll head to Discovery Center. I think that one part called the Enchanted Forest, and also North America, and the African Rift Valley. And then they also take us down to Asia and Australia. we got Northern Leopard Tortoise. Oh, there are two leopard tortoises right here. We're up at the glass. And there's a third one in the back. And got Mexican gray wolf. And this is the wolfie's habitat. And there's one right there. We're just running around. All the way back down. Another one right there, I didn't see him. These guys do have lots of space for them. And there's another one right there. I didn't see him. I think there's three of them here. I did not see it. There is a fourth wolfie. You can see his ears right there. Really cute. We got turkey vulture. Two of them right there. I can see two of them right there. I'm trying to get a good view of them. Right there. Right, so I'm showing you the map again. So I am right over here. We just did North America and Amazonia, so we're going to head up here to Discovery Center. Then we'll check out the African Rift Valley. And then we'll head up to the section called the Clay Building. Alright, so we're going to check out the African Rift Valley. Here we got Giraffe and Grant Zebra. And there the Zebra is having a snack of hay right there. Beautiful animals there. Yeah, so I do see the giraffe, but it is all the way over there. It looks like it's in its additional habitat. So hopefully there'll be another viewing point where I can get a better view of the giraffe. And that ocelot. There's the ocelot. It's having a cat nap right there. It's really adorable. Well, we're gonna head into Discovery Center. We got a lesser hedgehog, ten wreck. I'm trying to find this animal. 
Okay, so I actually did found the Tenrak. He's actually inside on the but rocks here, and you can kind of see his quill stick out right there. And the Francois Lanker. There he goes. He was just there, but he ran off. Oh, never mind. He's back. Oh. It's actually the Francois Langer's indoor habitat. It's actually one inside here. The door is open and they do have access to come outside whenever they want. Got a real long tail. <laughs> he jumped out. He's pretty active today. The Egyptian tortoise. The Egyptian tortoise is right there. Pretty small one. Something long. A crested wood partridge. Two of them right there. This one's a male, one's a female. And got a red panda. Red panda is just taking a nap up there. Mm, it's real cute. We got a tiger striped leaf frog. Alright, I've looked everywhere. I do not see a frog anywhere, so it's definitely hiding really well in one of these leaves here. We got hyacinth smaka. Up there, up on the treetop. Some very pretty birds there. Very, very pretty. You got Panamanian golden frog. Right, everywhere, and I do not, and I just don't see him anywhere. You got Fiji banded iguana. So I do apologize for the glass is wet, but you can see the iguanas right there. <gasps> Got Vietnamese giant centipede. You can see the kind of that glass there, you can kind of see his legs there. Got yeah. Kenyan sand boa. Yeah, so the Kenyan symbol is up, but apparently he is underneath in this little rock here. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to show him to you. Right, so this is the Red Panda's outdoor habitat. There's actually two more of them out here. There's one climbing on the fence here. And there's the other one up there sleeping on the top. Taking a nap. I'm climbing. I do apologize for the reflection. There we go. Alright, so this here is the French Wall Anchors outdoor habitat, but I did not see any more of them out here, so I'm guessing they only have one of them out. So we already saw him inside. I'm guessing he's the only one they have here at the zoo. All animals do have the opportunity if they want to be outside or inside. I do believe. The door to his nighttime habitat is open so he can come out whenever he feels like it. And I guess he chose to be inside today where it's nice and cooler. It is kind of hot out here. Alright, so here are the signs pointing in different directions. So we just did Discovery Center, so now we're going to head this direction to the rest of Africa and the rest of the to Asia and Australia. Alright, so over there is the giraffe habitat. He's actually just running. They actually have two habitats, and they do have access to come into that habitat whenever they want. Let's see the giraffes over there. And I am trying to get a better view of them. And I'm going to clear the giraffes here. You can see two of them. The second one's behind the other one, that's why I can't really see. Hmm, what a viewing of the giraffes over here. You got to see the tonga. 
Do for the Sotunga. There are two females all the way in the back grazing. <laughs> all right, and there's another view of the Sotunga, and there's a the females. The closest view of them from here. There's actually ooh, there's actually a third one right there. Can't really see them, but they're there. Mm. All right, so there's some view of the Sitatunga habitat. You can see the females right there. I did not see it, but there's actually a third one. You can't really see it, but it's there. All right, we're gonna head to Lemur Forest. There's a near the red roofed lemur, cockerel sifata, and ring tailed lemur. Alright, ring tailed lemurs. Guess I got a better view of them from here. There's two of them. Yeah, so it looks like there are two of the cockerel sifakas, and they're inside the little branch there. You can kind of see them. So I'm trying to find the rest of the lemurs here. And the only one I do not see is the red breast lemur. So I'm guessing they only have only two of them in it at the same time, but they probably rotate them out each day. Alright, so all the habitats for the lemurs are there are actually three different habitats. So we saw the ring-tailed lemurs in their own habitat, and the cockerel sifaka and the other. So this is probably the third habitat. I think this is the one that's supposed to have the red ruffed lemur, but I don't see them anywhere. Well, this is another viewing of the giraffe, and there's a much better and closer viewing of them. One beautiful animal. And the African spurred tortoise. Do you want to go feed the giraffe later? Three of them. There's two of them here, and a third one in the shade. You have to sit down so we can leave. Pretty big tortoises right there. Well, I'm gonna check out the Clay Memorial Zoo building. Here's what we're gonna see in the Upper Clay Komodo Cave, Creatures of the Night, Reptile Relatives, and the Clay Exhibit Hall. Alright, first up is Creatures of the Night. Here we got a Reticulated Python. Reticulated pythons right there. One big snake, real big. And it's a throwing three banded armadillo. I'm going to focus on him. But if you can't see him, he's right over here. This little thing here, that's him right next to the log. Can I see him moving around? We got a ring tail, not to be confused with the ring tailed lemur. It's actually just they call it a ring tail. So I am not seeing this critter anywhere. He is hiding really good. Oh, I take that back. He is out. He's way in the back corner there sleeping. If you can't see him, he's right over here taking a nap. It's a really small animal and cute. We got alligator snapping turtle. Snapping to look at his cell, his shell right there. You can kind of see his shell right there. We got Fennec Fox. Fennec Fox, he's taking a nap right there. It's a cute animal, real cute. And there's a second one there that was laying down in the little bed there. Under the big ears. It's really, really cute. We got the sand cat. Sand cat's right there. Right by the glass. There is one cute kitty cat. Really cute. And got Kinkachu. 
Okay, so only the Pikachu is right there, sleeping right by the door. Right over here, that little ball that's him all curled up, taking a nap by the door. Some got reptiles of the world. Alright, first up we got Komodo Cove. Alright, got Komodo Dragon. Alright, where is the Komodo Dragon? He's resting on that rock. A big Komodo Dragon. Here's our reptile relative. We got California King Snake. California King Snake's right there. Looks like he's moving around. We got Desert Horned Lizard. Right there. Second one. Just a little on the rock here. We got spider tortoise. Spider tortoises are right there, right next to each other. Okay, <laughs> Kenyan stand boa. So just like the other canyon sample we saw at Discovery yeah. Center, there, this one's also inside a little rock cave there. You must really love hanging out there. We got Madagascar tree boa. He's living out his name because he's up in the tree here. I do apologize for reflection. I'm trying to block it out. There we go. The McCord's box turtle. And there's the McCord's box turtle. It's buried under the dirt here. You can see his head right there. We've got rhinoceros iguana. Right there. We're just walking around the middle of the but he stopped moving. It's a nice lizard. Right, we got Indian rhinoceros. Right, so this is the Indian rhinoceros' nighttime habitat, and the door is open, so I'm assuming he's outside right now. That's right, so another section of the rhinoceros' nighttime habitat. Right, so this is the rhinoceros' indoor pool. That way, it can still be in the water when it's cold out. Right, we got rhino reserve. Here's the Indian rhinoceros. Right here in the water. Being cool. It's really hot today, so good time to be in the water. Probably the closest we've gotten to an Indian rhino. Have gotten this close to an Indian rhino before at the Montgomery Zoo. Well, I don't think he. I'm gonna put a few of the rhinoceros here. You can see them there. There's a nice rhino there. Alright, so this is the rest of the Indian rhino's habitat. This guy, he has lots of space for him to roam. He's got lots of space. We've got Aldabra tortoise. The upper tortoise. Pretty big ones. We've got Mueller's gray gibbon. Alright, I'm trying to find the gibbons, but I do not see them anywhere. They're probably somewhere in the back. And that's probably more likely where they are because. I looked everywhere in their nighttime habitat and I didn't see him there. Well, so in here we got Sichuan Talkin and Reeves Mudjack. These guys do have lots of space. I do see one of the Talkin right there in the shade. Oh, and there's the Reeves Mudjack. He ran down to Talkin. Or past the Talkin, actually. That's a cute creature. We got Amor Tiger. 
Yeah, so apparently there's a worker in the habitat cleaning up the tiger habitat, so he is not out right now, but she said the tiger will be out in 10 minutes. So I'm not sure if I'm going to come back here later or wait. But we'll see what happens. We got back tree and camel. And the back tree and camel is right here in this little dirt area here. Do apologize for the back viewing of him. Second one laying down the shade. Oh, this one just got up. Oh, he got up. Just got up now. Get a better view of the back tree camel from this angle. The other one's just laying down over there on his side. We got Barasinga deer. I'm trying to find the Barasinga deer, but I do not see him. I'm still looking for him, so I'm sure he's in here somewhere. I got Malayan sun bear. I'm still parallel the sun bear is in the back, but he's laying in the back right there. And past him. All right, there's another view of the sun bear. Looks like he's having a little snack there. Looks like a sweet little bear. All right, so I waited, and the Amer Tiger's now out. One big kitty cat. Oh, that looks like he's eating something. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. Oh, yeah. Watch out. Right, another side Mommy. view of the tiger. Right Got a better view of him. Some nice cat there. Leo, can hold it for the whole time. Oh, right. yeah. Tiger has lots of space for him and a nice platform edge for him to be on. And over here is actually the talking habitat because what's very interesting is that the talking are actually next to the tiger habitat. So that way when the talking are up and grazing the tiger gets the Sit on that platform edge, I believe, and gets to stare at something all day. at something he can't get to and thinks about having it for lunch. The tiger's moving around now. He's a pretty kitty cat. This near got emu, miniature horse, and a donkey. There's the emu right here. And you can see the donkey and the miniature horse. Donkey's just grazing the grass there. And there's the emu. We got a laughing kookaburra. Laughing kookaburra is right there on the branch. You can see him right there. It's a nice birdie. Oh, yeah. Come on. Hi, buddy. We got Asian brown tortoise. And the Asian brown tortoise right there. You can kind of see them right there. Two of them. Alright, welcome to reforestation. We got black and white talibus monkey. There are three of them. Two of them there, one of them there. You can kind of see them there. We got North American for otter. Uh, it's the otter habitat. I'm trying to find them. And the otter's in the water. There's one up here at the glass, and there's a second one swimming in the water. <laughs> 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 Alright, 
one swimming here. We got Bintarong. Um, I'm trying to find this creature. Don't see him anywhere right now. I'm sure he's here somewhere. Okay, so apparently I do not see the Bintarong. Apparently he is off habitat right now, but I'm sure he's here somewhere. There's a little box there, and there are two doors that are open. That's probably more likely where the Benarong is. The rest of this habitat has an owl. It does not say what kind of owl, but I'm pretty sure it's a great horned owl. But if I'm wrong, be sure to leave a timestamp comment down below, or you just type the time of the video. That way I'll know what animal you're talking about. But if you can't see him with all the fence, he is right over here. That's Scarlet Macaw. And there he is. Looks like he's molting off his old feathers. He's a pretty birdie. Very pretty. We got Cape Porcupine. One of the porcupines. Looks like there's two of them. Yeah, there's two of them. They're sleeping together. So I'm showing you the map again. So we are right by the Clay Memorial Building. We just did Asia and Australia. So now we're gonna head down this trail here past Africa. We got Abyssinian Ground Hornbill. Alright, so it does have lots of space to be in, but I don't see it. But what I do see are these creatures. They look like bongos, but they look a little darker than bongos. But Hopefully I'll find a signage for them soon. That's Stanley Crane. We got Blue Diker. And there's the Blue Diker. All the way in the back. Trying to get a better view of them. There you go. Oh, there it comes. Oh, there is the Stanley Crane right here. Cleaning his feathers. Alright, so apparently this is the deck that shows us a better view of the African habitat, but hopefully there will be another one. It's closed off for some reason. We got giant anteater and Patagonia Mara. Alright, so I'm trying to find these animals, but I don't see them. So there is a little bin dome thing there. Not quite sure what it's called. That's probably most likely where the Mara or the Anteater is right now. We got the Penguins of Patagonia. Alright, humbled Penguin. There's the other water view of them. I'm trying to find them. And there's the other water view of the Whoa, Penguin. Cool. So the humbled Penguins here swimming around. Hey, we gotta wait our turn. The penguins. Alright, so I'm back inside the Amazonia building, and the only animal I do not see in this habitat is the white faced stocky monkey. I just don't see him anywhere. So it's a no go, so this is what they look like, just in case you've never seen one before. There you go. Alright, so I'm here so they have the black power monkey and squirrel monkey. And the only animal I've seen so far in this habitat is the black cower monkeys and I do have a squirrel monkey that lives with them, but I don't see the squirrel monkey anywhere. So this is what they look like, just in case you've never seen one before. That is what they look like. They're very cute animals. So I'm guessing that they probably rotate them around every day and they only have one of them out at the same time. I'm guessing today they have the black power monkeys on habitat today. Alright everyone, that is going to do it for my trip to the Musker Park Zoo in Evansville, Indiana. I had a fantastic time visiting this place. Lots of cool animals. Not a huge property, but still a really great zoo. Also really like the penguins that they have here. And I think the penguin habitat they built here is actually brand new. So it's really nice how they been doing renovations here. Also enjoyed the Indian Rhino because that was the closest I've gotten. However, I have gotten that close to an Indian Rhino before at another place I visited. So if you like what you saw, 
give the video a thumbs up and leave some comments down below what was your favorite animal you saw here if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to my channel i have new videos coming up every saturday at 8 a.m central standard time so as always thank you for watching this video and i'll see you again next time bye